Good morning, sisters. It's good for us to be here. And it's good for me to be home again. I would like to share with you a presentation called The Art of Nourishing a Culture of Vocation. I'm a visual learner and a pie baker. In my mind, using a vivid picture helps me to see the acronym PIE. P-I-E. I know most, if not all of us, like homemade pie. Am I right? Every time you see a pie moving forward, I want you to think of prayer invitation, and encouragement for the sake of vocations. As you know, pie comes in all different sizes and flavors. Think of the last time you had that delicious, silky, savoring, satisfying, piece of pie. Maybe it was from a family recipe or Paul or Reggie in the kitchen. Or maybe it was a pie made by Sister Lori or Sister Mary Sharon, Ann Clinton or myself. The point is that luscious goodness comes right to mind, doesn't it? As your vocation director, we're in this together, and I would love you to join me in intentionally nourishing a culture of vocations by prayer, an invitation, an encouragement into a daily practice. Prayer is just one slice. You might use it for your morning meditation, thanking God for your own vocation. And in that gratitude, pray for someone to fill your shoes. You may choose during morning prayer to add vocations to a special intention. You may take time during adoration to pray for vocations or offer your rosary as the daily slice. The choices are endless. Pray always and pray in all ways, the scripture says. So just as there are endless choices of delicious, succulent, silky pies, so there are endless ways of powerful prayer opportunities that can be intentionally offered for discerners of religious life. Perhaps you want to put it on a bookmark. Perhaps you want to put a sticker on your mirror. The possibilities are endless. Invitation. How are you and I willing to make it possible to invite young women into conversation about prayer, about religious life, about their vocation. I'm sure many nieces and nephews might be called to priesthood or religious life. Have we asked them? Our own Springfield history shows family ties are significant. Just think. The Collins sisters, the Marins, the Sondergross and Jaegers, the Fries and Zeronas, the Cook cousins, cousins Neary and Crawford, the Files, the Clinons, the Hilbings, the Quins, just to name a few. Invitation is part of our heritage. It needs to be part of our future. Do you know colleagues or former students who have the capacity and the potential for living vowed life? 
pre-COVID, we did many young, we did invite many young people to the mother house, to Jubilee Farm in Cor Unum, and even in deformation for hospitality nights, college nights, scripture, soup, and fun. Yes, COVID canceled many of these activities that we had planned on these campuses. But have no fear, technology was here. We Zoomed and Zoomed and FaceTimed and used other social media like emails, texts, Twitter, Instagram, and the good old phone calls and handwritten notes, as well as online visits and retreats. It started to look like this, sisters and partners out in ministry preaching. And it went from this to this, sisters celebrating within the confines of Sacred Heart Convent. And then it went to this inside, but separating us from two at a table to looking something like this in ministry for meetings and then this for associate meetings. And then even look like this for celebrations. But invite we did. We had days of reflection for associates. We had gatherings for discerners with several of our sisters participating. We had a collaborative event with the Dominican Alliance for an Advent retreat. I had the priv privilege of preaching for a nun's life ministry. And we created and invited people to a virtual retreat called Listen, See, and Respond. We have reached out to persons across the nation and partnered with our global sisterhood, not only to keep us sane, but participating with busy person retreats at Northwestern, Christian Brother University in Memphis, Tennessee, St. Thomas Newman in Columbia, Missouri, and St. Mary's at good old Notre Dame. But we continued to invite associates into prayer, but online. Associates continued to be welcomed not to the mother house, but online. And then began their formation online. Encouragement is one more slice. People are starving for affirmation and encouragement, and we are in a position to offer that to them. I am here to tell you that you all play a significant part in this vocation ministry. I am praying and inviting and encouraging you, each and every one, to share pie with me. It is true that because the varieties of pie are always so enticing. So often we ponder, should I take the biggest piece or should I take a sliver of each? As your vocation director, I'm here to encourage you to try a sliver of each. Prayer, invitation, and encouragement of one another and of young women 
on behalf of vocations to our church and to our congregation. Sometimes we have to encourage ourselves with a sliver of each. And don't worry, after a while, this will all seem like a piece of cake instead of pie. And don't forget, sisters, you are the apple pie of my eye. Thank you for allowing me to share the art of nourishing and nurturing a vocation. We are in this together. Thank you.